Hello guys and welcome to tutorial number 9 from working with Photoshop. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create some abstract background textures. First you want to create a new file by pressing Ctrl N. I will name it background and set my width and height to my background format. So mine is 1280 by 800 pixels. Press OK. And now set your background color to the color you want your background to have. So I'll just pick red. Then you want to Ctrl Delete to give your layer 1 a red color. Then I'll go to Filter, Render, Lightning Effects. And with this effect, you can add some light effects to your background. So it will just look like there's a light coming from the top or the bottom, wherever you like. I'll just pick this one. And now my background is 10 times nicer than it was before. Now I'm going to create a new layer on top of it. And now with my foreground color set to black, I'm going to pick the gradient tool. I'll click this little arrow here. And I'll click foreground to transparent. So it will be black to transparent, then enter and click and drag from the top to the bottom. The texture we make now will be black and the background of the texture will be transparent. If I would have set it to black to white, the background will be white. Just go to filter, distort, wave, and here's your preview, what you will get. I want some lines. So just adjust these values till you get some nice looking lines. I could use this, but I want it to be more abstract, so I want all kinds of little lines. Just very little to make a cool looking abstract texture. Maybe like this, this looks good. Then press OK and there will be your lines. Now, you have to go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. And then, you can click on Polar to Rectangular or Rectangular to Polar. I'll just click on Rectangular to Polar. Then, press OK. And there you have your very cool original background texture. Now, you could fill it to... 60% or maybe around 40% to make it some transparent. Now what you could do is add some text. So go to your horizontal type tool and I just click anywhere and I'll type anything I like. I now press Ctrl A because the size is really too small and I'll press Ctrl till you see those arrows here click and drag to the right to make your size bigger and just release when you're done ok now press ctrl and then click and drag to position it wherever you like and now I want to add a cool effect so double click on your text layer and then choose a outer glow Click on the text outer glow, adjust your size to maybe 18 pixels or whatever looks nice to you. And you can change the color of it, maybe to blue or... Yeah, I will just pick some purple. Alright, then I press OK. But it doesn't look nice. I want to get rid of the black color. So I'm going to fill to zero. So only your outer glow will stay visible. You could also double click on it and add some more effects. Maybe click on bevel and emboss, on contour, setting, maybe just whatever you like. Maybe set the outer glow off. Maybe 
gradient overlay off press ok and now you have your own transparent text on your background you could also add another text and now I'll adjust the size again by pressing Ctrl A Ctrl click and drag to the left alright press ok and I want the same effect on this text so I'll press right click on the text layer with the layer style press copy layer style now right click on the other one and click paste layer style now they will be both have exactly the same layer style so I hope you like this tutorial and I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial if you have a request for a tutorial just leave it in the comment section below